Hi there. My name is Preva Doyle and I am a licensed massage therapist at Vital Touch Wellness. Today I'm going to show you how to do self massage for a sinus headache relief. Uh, I actually woke up with a little bit of a sinus headache today and it seemed to get a little bit worse as the morning was going on. So um, that's what prompted me to decide to do this video today. And um, you know, I know a lot of my clients have allergies and suffer from a lot of these types of symptoms from their allergies. And I think mine is related to allergies. So um, hopefully this will help some of you if you have any sinus headaches or sinus pressure or allergy symptoms, um, this simple practice will help to open up the sinuses and help them to drain properly and relieve any tension that is in there. Um, so one thing you might wanna do uh, before the practice or after the practice, uh, which I found helped me greatly, was um, applying warm compress or warm water, hot water on your face um, around the sinuses. So I took a nice hot shower and that helped to relieve some of my sinus headache already. So that can be done for five minutes or so before you do this uh, sinus massage or you could do it after too and that would, would be beneficial as well. So. Um, we're just going to be pressing on the sinuses with a medium to medium light pressure. You don't want to press too hard, um, but you also don't want to press too soft. So if it feels um, really intense, then ease up and you're probably using too much pressure. It may feel a little sensitive. Um, you may feel a little bit more sinus pressure as you are pressing on the sinuses, um, but the longer you hold it, the more relief you will feel. So let's get started. We're just going to use a fingertip and we can start maybe right on the inside of the eyes, work our way down across the bridge of the nose and maybe under the cheekbone and out a little bit. And then we'll start right on the inside of the eyebrows, right underneath of them, press in and up, and then pull your way right under or on the eyebrows over to the side. So just some gentle strokes to warm up the area. Down the bridge of the nose, under the cheekbones, middle of the eyebrows, under or on top of the eyebrows, working your way out. Great, so now we'll go ahead and press in on the sinuses. You can start right on the inside of the eyes, right near the bridge of the nose. Your pressure will be somewhat at an angle, so not going straight in, not going straight towards the middle of the nose, but somewhat between the two. Pressing in at an angle. With a gentle pressure, like I said, it um, you may feel a little more pressure in the sinus as you're pressing, and that's okay. You don't want it to be painful. You can just continue to hold this gentle pressure there until you feel a little bit of release, until you feel less pressure there, or maybe you feel like it has drained. You might notice that one side feels more clogged or feels like there's more pressure in it than another, and that's okay. 
you may feel like one side starts to release or open quicker than another side, and that's okay too. If you feel like one side has released and you want to let go of that side and continue to hold the side that has not released yet, you can do that. You may feel like it's a little bit easier to breathe through your nose once you feel the sinus open and drain. All right, once it feels drained or less pressure or like it's released, you can let go. Mm. Now we'll calm down a little bit lower towards the base of the nose and you want to be working like under where the cheekbone comes in. You don't want to be pressing and pinching the nose closed. You want to be pressing right next to the nose. And this time it can be a little more straight in versus at an angle. We kind of worked a little bit more at an angle up there. And here we can work more straight, straight in to the cheek, right next to the base of the nose. Go ahead and press in there. This area you might be able to use a little bit more pressure than what you used higher up. Again, you do not want it to be painful. And pressing and holding. Until you feel less pressure there. Sometimes when I work on my sinuses and they start to drain, I may feel a tickle in the back of my throat. And that's normal too, if you feel that. It's post-nasal drip. Continuing to hold until it feels like those sinuses have drained. And again, for me, one side feels like it is drained and another side feels like it needs to be held a little longer. So that's okay if that's the case for you too. During this, I'm continuing to use the same amount of pressure the whole time in that one spot. So I'm not increasing or decreasing the pressure. I'm just holding that pressure steady. And again, it's gentle, medium to medium light pressure. All right, now I'm gonna come up that feels good. Come up to right under the inside of the eyebrow. And this, you can do it a variety of ways. You could maybe hold your hands down here and press up. You could bring your hands up above into the forehead and kind of pull up. I kind of like pulling up. I know it looks a little silly with how my hands are positioned. Um, but this feels most natural and feels best for me. Bringing my hands up onto the forehead and pulling up under that inner eyebrow area. And again, the pressure here might be a little more firm than the pressure we used at the top of the nose, right inside of the eyes. 
this area we all will not might not feel as squishy as the spot we were just working at the base of the nose and under the cheekbone. So this area, you may not feel a whole bunch of difference on how it feels for your fingers. Um, you know, for me, as I'm working on the sinuses, I can sometimes feel them release with my fingers. This spot, it's harder to feel with the fingers. It's easier just to feel in, inside your own body. If it feels like the pressure's gone away. Now my shoulders are getting a little tired. So if you're um, doing the same positioning I am and your shoulders are getting tired, you can take a break or you can bring it down. I'm gonna bring my shoulders down now. Sometimes we have to adjust our positioning so that we're not harming our bodies or compromising. And that's okay. The point of doing self-massage is to help release tension, release pain, and feel more relaxed. So if you're working in a way that's causing you to feel more tension, then you can always adjust. This is about you feeling good, not about creating more tension. All right, I'm finally feeling less sensitivity up here. It almost feels yeah, I can feel a softening under my fingers as well as inside my body. I thought this area might be a little harder to feel the opening of the sinuses with your fingers, but I am feeling it. So if you feel like this area has released, has drained, has lessened in sensitivity and feels better, you can let go. And maybe end with a few of those strokes we started with a gentle couple strokes around the nose, cheekbone, and under the eyebrow. Lovely. Maybe a couple circles around the temples to end it. So you should feel like you can breathe a little bit better now. And if you started with a, with a sinus headache, that should have decreased quite a bit now or maybe gone altogether. Um, so thank you so much for joining me in this self-massage practice for sinus headache relief. And um, if you like this video, please like it on YouTube or if you see it on Facebook, like it there and feel free to share our videos um, with your friends, with your family, with anyone you know, and you may think that they may benefit from this as well. So um, take care and uh, hope to see you guys again soon.